A very long time ago, when animals and humans spoke the same language, a king announced to all his subjects who were assembled in his palace what the oracle had made known. For the famine to come to an end, they'll have to get the tusk of an elephant. And whosoever brings this tusk will be given up to half of the kingdom. Nobody, not even the bravest of warriors in the kingdom, stepped forward. Except for one. Guess who? Ijakwa. Ijakwa. The tortoise. Everybody was eh? surprised. Mm -hmm. Most of all, the king. You? Ijakpa? Of all people. Come, be a seal. Live long, O oh king. Thought is healed. Yes, I, Ijakpa, will not only bring the tusk of the elephant, but the elephant itself, he boasted. But then Tortoise made sure to tell the king two things that must have been done upon his arrival. One, a very big hole dug with mats laid on it, as this would be a trap for the elephant to fall into later on. Two, upon seeing him with the elephant, everyone should start to sing and dance. With his plan in place, Ijakpa, the tortoise, set out on his quest to get Erin, the elephant, to town. As soon as Ijakpa saw Erin, the elephant, he exclaimed, Ah, my friend, here you are, when everyone awaits you in the palace. The elephant wondered, what for? Ijakpa replied him and said, Hmm, the humans have finally realized your worth as the king of the animals instead of lion. On hearing this, the elephants got excited and became very happy because he had always thought that he should have been considered the king of the animals because of his size. And so he was ready to follow tortoise to town. Just then, a bird who knew of Tortoise's cunning plan to lure the elephant to his death, started singing. Eri, the elephant, stopped in his tracks and asked Ijakpa if he understood what the bird was singing about. Ijakpa pretended not to know what the bird implied because he was going to ruin his plan. So, he said, Of course! The bird is trying to tell you the usual that will happen at your coronation ceremony tomorrow. You know, flies will dance around the palm wine gods, and of course, the blood of fowls that will be slaughtered will flow. Then he started singing. I'm marrying Jabba. I'm marrying Jabba. This was how the tortoise hypocritically praised the elephant till they got to town. On sighting the tortoise and the elephant from afar, everybody started singing and dancing in spite of their fright on seeing the enormous animal. The elephant, unaware of the pit that has been dug for him, just walked majestically to the mat that was laid for him. And as he walked over, whoa, that was how he fell into the pit. 
Ready? And 